Greetings, my family and friends, and how are you all? Another bank holiday Monday. 493 family members this morning. Thank you all so much. I'm really, really grateful to have you on board. It means the world to me. And thank you again for your lovely comments. I appreciate them all. And I promise that I will answer every one of them. Today I'm going to do another challenge, not challenge, another food review taste test. And this is <coughs> a corn roast. Deliciously meat free it says. High in protein low in saturated fat, gluten free, no soy, 454 grams and apparently it will feed five people. Right, meat free, savoury flavour roast made with micro protein the microprotein is 60%, they are rehydrated free range egg, white, onion, rapeseed oil, natural flavourings, milk proteins, filming agents, sorry, firming agents, calcium chloride and calcium acetate. For allergen warning, see what is in bold and that is for egg and milk. This is vegetarian society approved. It is gluten free and says that it will feed five people. <clears throat> and here it is my friends. Takes 55 minutes in the oven at 200 degrees and that's what it looks like. I'm going to try some on its own first and then I'm going to try some with some uh, vegetarian gravy. That's what it looks like. Smells absolutely fine. It has a texture very, very similar to meat. And it seems to have a flavour. Although I don't know why reading the ingredients, but it has a flavour of... Uh, a mild sage and onion stuffing. I have had this before at uh, my friend Carrie and Ben's wedding as I was vegetarian at that point. I was vegetarian for two years. Why did I revert back to eating meat?
where I worked, we used to take the clients on holiday, wherever they wanted to go. And uh, we went to a hotel in Bridlington. I cannot remember its name now. But the only vegetarian option that they had for breakfast basically was cornflakes or porridge. And for the evening meal, it was either have the meat or do without. And Carrie and I were there and we went down onto the promenade in Bridlington and walked towards, uh, what's it called? Suwerby Park. Absolutely beautiful view towards Suwerby. It was a lovely day and there was a cafe right on the front and all you could smell was bacon. And I have to confess, with the smell of bacon, I weakened after living on cornflakes and porridge. And uh, I decided to go for uh, add a bacon sandwich. And I've never looked back since. True story. Right, I'm going to try a bit of this vegetarian gravy now. And see if it makes any difference to it. I don't think that it will, in all honesty. But we'll see. There it is with the gravy. And it's definitely, definitely has a meaty texture. I realise it's not vegan, however, it is Vegetarian Society approved. And you know what? It isn't half bad. I believe this joint roast that is supposed to feed five people and I can easily see how it could is four pounds from Iceland and it's very very tasty. And I would imagine that if you actually fed this to someone unknowingly they probably think that they were eating either pork or chicken. It has that, as I say, that sage and onion flavour to it. And it's really good. Absolutely no complaints about that one whatsoever. So the corn roast. That's it guys and girls, four pounds from Iceland. Very tasty indeed. I really enjoyed that. And I'm going to give it 8.5 out of 10. Yeah. Again, the vegetarian range of foods always seems to be have the edge on the vegan. I'm very sorry, vegans. But these, they're worth the money. Particularly if they feed five people. You can't really knock it, can you? And as I say, I bet if you give it somebody unknowingly, they would think they were eating meat. 
that's all I'm going to say. So, my 493 family members, thank you so much. I'm glad that you're here. Please feel free to hit the like button, if you liked what you've seen, of course. Leave a comment in the box below if you've tried this. Hit the bell icon for any future uploads. And above all, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please feel free to subscribe. Costs you nothing, helps the channel grow and become part of the bigger family. And I say it every time, I've met some really lovely people on here. Which is a good thing. So, at this point as always my friends I will say Namaste. May your God go with you. Bye for now.